7 o'clock, 7.02, I believe, right now. And uh, it is time for Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Yes, right here on Facebook every Friday night, 7 o'clock. Thank you guys for tuning in. You don't have to do it, but you do. And I appreciate it. Uh, like I say, you're, you're doing therapy with me. So... Thanks for hanging out. The website is sugarpearlsonline.com. You can also check out uh, YouTube, which is Sugar Pearls. That's S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And my Instagram, uh, because I take these videos and I put them on my YouTube channel. I do a produced version. So usually I have like um, little tips and tricks. And sometimes I'll put pieces of the recipe um, in the produced version. So you want to make sure you subscribe to YouTube so you can get that bing uh, Click the bell so that you get notifications every time I put up a new video Instagram TV I also put it on there, which is sugar pearls underscore online Oh my gosh! Yes! Spirit fingers to you! <laughs> okay, so we're going home to Lee County, where I'm from, Lynchburg, South Carolina, all right? Uh, I already started on a little barbecue sauce. Now, my brother makes the best uh, rib sauce I've ever had from scratch. And I will never be, hey, Sid, thank you, baby. I tried, I had to glow up. Um... So I know that my sauce doesn't even come close to what he would do. But for my barbecue rib sauce, because we don't buy sauces uh, where I'm from. We make our own everything all the time. Okay, so I got some hot, some uh, Texas peat in there. Got a little uh, white vinegar. I got a little red wine vinegar. I've got brown sugar in there. What else do I have in there? Uh, I'm looking to see what else I put in there. There was some other stuff. Uh, garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit, a little bit of allspice. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit of allspice in there. Um, but your barbecue sauce can be absolutely whatever you want it to be. Now I realize that because of, um... Hey, Don Simber, that you know what? I keep forget Central Time, so it's 6 o'clock Central. Got it. I'm going to remember that next time. But in different parts of um, the South, there are different sauce bases. I like a red sauce. That's that's what I come from. We come from the, the hot red Texas peat base sauce, okay? Um, some people do the mustard sauce. And that's cool. It is whatever you want it to be. All right. But I just did just a little bit of sauce here. And um, it is still cooking. So we're going to let it cook. And right now, um, oh, I didn't tell you what else was on the menu. So we've got our barbecue ribs. Um, but the barbecue ribs are not just any kind of barbecue ribs. Oh, no. Are you ready? All right. Brace yourself. Hold on to something or somebody real strong. Hold on. Tonight, we are doing deep fried barbecue ribs with collard green egg rolls. Oh. Girlfriend, boyfriend, yes. Yes, we got some collard green egg rolls tonight. Now, in my collard green egg rolls, I'm going to do some ground pork, okay? Now, if you don't want to do pork, um, by all means, do it the way you want to do it. I'm doing it the way I want to do it. And the way I want to do it is, is with a little pork. So, I've got some ground pork here. And... <laughs> I'm, am I going to use all of this? I might as well. Might as well. So I got a little bit of ground pork. This is a little bit where I'm from. 
Okay, we're gonna get that on uh, in the pan, and we're just gonna start to fry it up. All right, let me talk. Mm. I'm so glad that you guys decided to um to join me um for my <laughs> for my therapy session. Don't worry, y'all. When this when this is over, and I, I do believe that everything has an expiration date. Everything. Okay? Um, We're going we gonna to get the sugar pearls up and running. I don't know if it's going to be a truck. I don't know if it's going to be a, a, a building, a restaurant. I don't know. I, I just don't know. I'm just believing that God is going to point me in the right direction. Okay? I'm, I'm believing on that. And in the meantime, I'm not just sitting, waiting. Okay? That's the key. Just because you're waiting don't mean you got to be um standing still. Alright? You want a blessing? You, you Sometimes you still need to be moving and, do, and doing stuff. Don't just sit down on your behind. Get up and do stuff. Oh, ooh. Gee whiz. Okay. So I'm gonna bruise, oh yeah. I'm bruising my um my onions. So I'm gonna get some onions in here with this pork. I've already diced up some garlic that's gonna go in there. And um yeah, this, this is dinner! Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. The website is www.sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls, S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S. And Instagram, where you can go to Instagram TV and see my videos also, is um, Sugar Pearls underscore online. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just feeling kind of royal today, I don't know, so I just put my little, my little choker on, and a nice little dress, and I just felt like, you know, <laughs> Michelle said, we'll show it when it's time, keep moving, that's right, you keep moving, honey, and keep operating in your gifts, you don't just sit still, you keep moving. All right, so we got this on. We'll turn that ground pork up just a little bit more. And to deep fry, I already cooked the ribs. So I baked the barbecue ribs yesterday. These are just a few of the ingredients that I'm using for my rib rub. Um, yes, there are a lot <laughs> of things that go into my ribs. Um, I tend to switch it up from time to time, but this is a wet rub that I did um, this time. And you can actually rub your ribs with whatever you want. Put some sliced ginger on there. There's some rosemary oh it smells so good i wish you could smell it so we're gonna get these in the oven and then we will let them sit in the fridge overnight and slice them up for our recipe so let's get ready to bake and then fry so here are the ribs uncooked right now with everything in the baking pan the marinade is in the bottom of the pan and i added just a touch of water to that because i'm going to bake these off for about an hour or more perhaps okay so an hour has passed and now i'm gonna check on my ribs here see what they're doing one hour should be sufficient actually lift that covering Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Okay, and now we're going to continue to cook the ribs uncovered on the same uh, top rack for another uh, 30 minutes or so, and uh, we'll come back and take them out. So, this is half of 
the flabber is because it's just me. I didn't need a whole slab. I probably could could go for that. And the thing is, with the um, with the deep fried ribs that we're gonna do tonight, they need to be cool to hard. Okay, so they're hard, and then I'm gonna slice them up in a little bit. Um, we're gonna dredge them in our flour and cornstarch mixture, and then we will um, dip them in the hot grease. We're gonna do the egg rolls first though. So that's gonna take a little bit of assembly. All right, so while the pork is going, let's um, let's get the egg roll wrappers out. Now, my collard greens, these are collard greens that I cooked last Sunday, last Sunday. But this is a, a really fun recipe that if you have leftover collard greens, um, do you some collard green egg rolls, honey? Because that's, that's what I've been doing tonight. Oh, yes. Oh, I can't wait to wrap them. Okay, I got my wrapper open. And you can, why are they vegan? New and improved vegan egg roll wrap. Okay, that's good. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. It, it's, it's just a little weird that I... I picked up vegan egg roll wraps and I'm putting pork in inside them. But that's okay. Um it'll it'll be just fine. It'll be just fine. I'm sure. I'm sure it will. Okay. All right. You know how you see something and say like vegan or <laughs> half the fat. No fat. Like, oh god, I hope I ain't messed up there. Alright. We're getting this pork cooked. I'm gonna cook it all the way through. Now the only reason why I'm not gonna add any salt to this pork is because my collard greens are well seasoned. Well seasoned. They're not salty. They are well seasoned. I I put the uh I even did it with fat back this time, which I don't normally do. But I did it with the fat bag. So it's got enough salt. It's got enough other flavors in there. It's got just the right amount of sweetness. It's tart. So it's perfect. So if you make good collard greens, then you can, you'll have some good collard green egg rolls. All right? If you don't make good collard greens, then I don't know what to tell you. Now, I saw a recipe for them. And I know um, there's a restaurant in Charlotte that uh, does collard green egg rolls, but um, they use canned collard greens. <laughs> they use canned collard greens. <laughs> Now, you know, that is reprehensible. Honey. Canned collard greens, really? I don't care how good Glory say she is. Ain't nothing like some good old homemade collard greens. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that's a no-no. Mm-mm. Don't trust it. Don't trust it at all. So what I did with the collard greens, um, you got to drain all the pot liquor off. So I took, took the collard greens out, um, drained them, drained like Squeeze all the water, uh, the pot liquor, out so that it's kind of dry. Because you're going to mix it with the pork and then assemble with everything else. Alright, and what you don't want is a mushy egg roll. Okay. Almost done. Almost. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Y'all are so sweet. Sweet. Did 
join me here on a Friday night. How are you doing? I'm, I'm so rude. I didn't even ask you. Are you making it? Um, I know for us folks that don't mind being by ourselves, we are cool. Cool and the gang. For the rest of y'all, <laughs> you have a lot of Bro, are you good? Are you, um, you no know, such thing as can't, exactly. No such thing as can in college. Uh, I think, I think along with, with fighting, um, the right, the virus and, and trying not to succumb to the virus. We're also fighting another battle, and that is the battle of, like, keeping our mental wellness in check. So, I hope that you're finding positive ways to do that. Not watching the news too much, you know? And just, um... Ooh, wee! Okay. Now, I'm gonna add my garlic and my onion. Because that pork is pretty much done. Okay. I'm going to slice that up in a little bit. Alright. Oh! Yes! This is just the pork, the filler, that's going to go with the collard greens. And you want it chopped kind of, kind of fine. You can have some chunks if you like, but um, I want mine kind of fine. Okay. Oh, yeah, buddy. Okay. We will let that, let that go right there. Okay. Now for these ribs, honey. Okay, so I got about a half a slab right here. The only thing I want to do is slice. Uh, how do I want to slice? Let's see. I baked them yesterday in the oven. And I'm going to just. Easy, just like that. I'm barely using any any effort. Okay. Is, is that a bone? There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. Awesome. And now I've got my little ribs sliced up, okay? So set that aside. Take your pork out. Now what I'm doing um, back here behind your head is draining, um, I'm draining the fat off of that pork over there behind you. And what I'm gonna do right now is bring my hot pot over here. Now this pot, let me show you what's happening here. I like to make sure you're with me through through every part of the, who said this, Don Simmer? I'm not watching the news much at all, says, oh, good. That's a great idea. Yeah, projects. Um, oh, yes, I got to say something about the project too. Um, but this is, this is my oil. I'm going to heat this up because this is what I'm going to use to fry my, to deep fry my ribs and to deep fry my egg rolls. Okay. So I need to make sure this is super hot. Now I always say you got to season your oil now. You don't have to, but it's, it's a nice little practice. If you do, I personally enjoy it. 
So what I do with my oil is I throw a, a couple of pieces of onion in there, some garlic. Mm, ooh, that it's gonna be perfect. Yeah, so I got some some red onion, some white onion, piece of garlic in there. So when the oil gets hot, it the uh, onion and all that of uh, the oils from that will be infused into the cooking oil. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, now, all right. Pork is draining fat. Let's cover this back up. Let's have a sip of tea. Child, I ain't gonna tell you one night I thought I had the Rona. I thought Rona had me. I thought Rona had me good. Woo, chest started getting tight. I checked my temperature like three times. It was perfect. 97.9. 98.6. I mean, it was perfect. Nothing was wrong. I was just paranoid. So I was like, this was a couple of weeks ago, actually. So I was like, okay, one thing I got to do is start cleaning and purging. I love to purge. Like, if I, if I haven't looked for something in my house um, for five, six months, I'm probably going to throw it away because I don't need it. That's just me, okay? So I'm like, Lord, if I die in this apartment, mom and daddy going to have to come and I want them to find things in order, honey. Yeah, I'm like thinking all of this stuff in my mind. Let me tell you, Rona, I thought Rona had me. So I'm going through the house. I'm purging. I'm looking for stuff I don't need. I'm throwing stuff out. I got, I mean, it was just crazy. And I didn't even want to go to sleep that night. I was just like, no, I'm, you know, I'm just stay up as late as I can. <laughs> oh, but thanks be to God. I'm just telling you, that's that's one way this thing just start to mess with your mind. That's why you got to you got to stay in positive spaces and talk with positive people and just engage with things that are good and make you feel good and feel loved. Oh. <laughs> Ursula say, go on Rona somewhere. Go ahead now. Yes, honey, I'm telling you. So I went through my, my bit of Rona paranoia. I am over it. Um, but yeah, after a while, because you know, you're stuck in the house and you think every symptom that they talk about is one that you have, like, at that time. So you're scared to death. And... Check. Mess is what it was. Just mess. So this is what we have. This is our ground pork with some scallions in there and a little bit of uh, garlic, fresh garlic. These are my collard greens. I'm not, ooh, I need to take some of this out. Yes. So these are my collard greens. I, uh, Pour the pot liquor off and then I squeeze the rest. Hey, Nita! And then I squeeze the rest of the pot liquor out because I want that the flavor is already in the green. So I ain't worrying about losing that, honey. They seasoned. All right? Not like the mother folks that be using that can collar. What say you? All right, so. I'm not going to make a whole lot of these, but I am going to make about, you know, two or three or four. <laughs> and I'm going to add some of the ground pork to it. Okay, I'm going to put the rest of this in this. Because I need more surface to mix, okay? I'm so glad y'all work with me because you know I, it's a live show. You know that. All right. So mix, mix, mix. Woo! That is. Mm -hmm. That was my joke. 
joy dance. My God, that was good. I'm glad I didn't put no salt in that um in that ground pork would have been too much. Ooh, the oil is getting hot. Hey y'all. Hey Kia. Hey Kia. I love you too, baby. We're doing it. Okay. So for those of you hot liquor. <laughs> for those of you I ain't calling no names. Who are late? <laughs> if you're just coming on, I know, you have a life. But if you're just coming on, tonight, Sugar Pearls is taking you down south. Yes, S-O-U-F. Taking you down south to my mom and daddy house. To Lynchburg, South Carolina. We're going to have some barbecue ribs and some collard greens, but we ain't doing it the normal way yeah i'm a little little strange a little extra so i decided that tonight i was gonna deep fry my barbecue ribs and make some collard green egg rolls so that's what we doing mm. yes i'm so excited Ooh, that's getting Oh, that's hot. That is hot, hot, hot. So I need to go ahead and start rolling the rolls. Okay. But this is the wrapper, and I'm placing it diagonally on the plate. Okay. Now, I'm going to take some of that uh, mixture, the collard greens and the ground pork, and put it right there in the middle. I'm going to add a little more. Y'all, I'm telling you, this is so cute. And the barbecue sauce that I made um, is going to make a great dip for this. Okay? So kind of in the middle. Alright? And the first thing we're going to do is just roll. Roll again. Okay? Is that right? Yes. Okay. Fold the outsides in. I know I got stuff spilling out. Just act, just keep it moving. Keep it moving. All right. Bear with me. And you got egg roll number one. Now I made a, a grave mistake with that. I got my um little cornstarch slurry here. Gotta put my slurry on. on the corners okay so get the slurry on there now we can fold in fold in and boom okay I'm scared of that one right there I, I feel like stuff might start coming out of it but that's okay let's get this in the bowl let's try another one okay right egg roll Ooh. Okay, it's sticking too. Love it. Diagonal. Let's go ahead and get the mixture on the inside right in the middle. I think this one might be better. Can you tell this is my first time making this? Yes, honey. First time. First time. But if you don't try, how you gonna know you can do it? Okay. Okay, then we're gonna take a little slurry. Put around here in the corners and the sides. Oh, see, now this looks like I know what I'm doing now. Okay. All right. Now we're going to bring that to the center a little more. And just fold. I don't like that. Okay. Fold in. Fold in. And roll. Roll. Okay, that was a little better, but I'm still missing a, a step. I just want to seal it, honey, to make sure the stuff don't come out. I don't feel good about this. 
Guess what? If it don't work out, you at least I tried, right? Let's do one more for the road. <laughs> I should go a little less on the feeling. Okay. All right. A little less. All right. Slurry. Boo, boo, boo. Right there. Okay. Fold in, fold in. This one is thick. A little bit of, a little more right there. And boom, shaka laka. Okay. So I got a couple that, that look cute and one that, that's the orphan. That's the orphan child. Okay? All right. We done with that demonstration. Child. You're going to learn some stuff watching the show. You're going to learn how to mess up. You're going to learn how to have fun in the kitchen. You're going to learn how to do it over again. Next time I do it, it'll be just right. Uh, but for now, <laughs> this is what we do. Okay. So I got three egg roll. And I'm getting ready to drop them in the hot grease. Sorry about that. Oh, look at those onions in there. That looks so good. So, so good. Okay. I'm going to turn that back up. Now, what? I need to make sure that it's nice and hot. Otherwise, it'll sit in that grease. And I'll have greasy egg rolls with stuff running out of it. So I'm going to get them super duper hot. Um, and I'm going to just do three for tonight. Now I bet you after the show, it's going to look perfect. I bet you. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh -uh. Turn that up some more. Okay. Sauce is ready. Look at that. Oh, it's nice and syrupy. Thick and gooey. And hot. Super hot. Okay, I'm going to turn that down to melt. And for the ribs, I already have my flour and cornstarch mixture. I put a little paprika in here, and I also put a little garlic powder and onion powder in here. And I'm just going to um, drop a few pieces of the rib, okay? All right. Oh. oh, deep fried barbecue ribs, baby. Let me tell you, this is quarantine 2.0. Nobody should be eating this stuff during quarantine. But, um, we're doing it. We're doing it. Take that excess flour off. We'll have more time to do that, okay? But that's what you got. You got your ribs and your flour mixture. And we'll be ready to... Yep. So that's ready. Alright, so let's put our egg rolls in there. Nice seasoned hot oil. Turn her up. Watch that for me. I'm going to rinse my hands off. Yes. Oh, they're looking good. So, so far, I think. 
think the egg rolls are okay. Um, they, it hasn't exploded yet, so that's a good thing. At least the stuff that's inside is staying inside, and that's, that's important. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. It's going to be so good. I love it. Turn that up. I feel like it's cooling down. I don't want it to cool down. I'm going to move this out of the way so that we can uh, see more of what's happening. Oh, gosh. Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, and I'm your host, Carla Renee. You're here with me. I'm here with you. Thank you. Thank you. So tonight we are doing deep fried barbecue ribs and um, pork and collard green egg rolls. Yep. Not a vegan meal. Nope. Oh, uh, not a kosher meal. Nope. Straight pork. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's just something fun. And, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, onions. So all I'm doing right now, because I don't want... Um, burnt onions in my oil. I'm taking the ones that are getting brown out because they've left their essence in there now. Ooh, don't burn out. I, I burned one of my egg rolls just now. It's okay. It's still gonna eat good. It's still gonna eat good. Okay, take that out. All right, and we're gonna let that. Ooh, child, I showed you about it. It's a live show. What can I say? It's a live show! All right, so let's drop some of these ribs in the oil. All right? So I floured them. Now, I'm not cooking them. I'm browning them because I've already cooked them. Ooh. Ooh. Get that going. Yes. Oh, the crust on there. Whoa. Okay. Let me tell you how good my God is. He said, you might have burnt them egg rolls, but, but daughter, I'm going to make sure you have some pretty riblets. We've got the most beautiful ribs. That's it. Flash fry frying them very high. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is, I'm so excited. When I oh my goodness. I ooh, ooh, okay. I could have let that one go a little bit longer. I'm gonna do a couple more pieces. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and yes, I'm taking them out almost as fast as I put them in because they're cooked already. You want the um, want them to get just a little bit of crust, but you don't want to burn that crust. So that's what we got going on here. Okay, now I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way and. I'm going to clean off my stove top. When I tell you I burn the <laughs> Oh my goodness. It wasn't doing anything at first. And then once it really got hot, like it got hot fast. So the, the skin of the egg roll is pretty ugly. <laughs> But um, we, 
we gonna make a meal out of it, okay? And I'm gonna just show you, and I'm gonna still try to make a pretty plate because to me, that's just essential. It, the, the plate must be pretty. All right, take this out. Ooh, yeah, that's crispy. Nice, nice. Yes! Oh my God, yes. Oh, oh. One more in there. <laughs> All right. We'll cover this. I need to put something over that to cover. I'm going to let it cool off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, let me bring my table back. Let's bring the table back and we can try, try a little tenderness, try to assemble this mess. How about that? That's what we're going to do. Cancel. I don't need the oven now. Just work with me. I know. I'm, I'm doing a lot. I know. I know. Just work with me. Okay? Okay, play. Play team. All right, plating is very important. Got a little barbecue sauce here. And probably, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I really let that, I, um, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's try this again, Carla. Boom. I knew what I wanted to do. So what I want to do is that right there. Yes, honey. I want to get that, um, get those ribs tossed around in there real good. In that sauce. Oh my god. I can smell the allspice. In the sauce. You can make your sauce however you want. Um, I just did mine with a little bit of allspice in there. Some Texas. I started off with the Texas peat. The white vinegar. Red wine vinegar. Um, so that you've got something really special. Let me grab my tongs, okay? We're going to get this plated. And then we're going to have a little supper together, okay? So, I'm going to let that sit in there for a second, okay? Let's get this going. I'm a mess tonight. I, I thought I had this together, okay? In my mind, I had it just right. Okay, so I'm going to let that... Sit there and soak up all of that. While that's doing that, we're going to cut the egg rolls. Okay, look at my ugly egg rolls. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I know. I know. They're a little ugly. But you know what? I'm going to do. I'm going to do that one and I'm going to do this one. Okay, and I'm going to cut it on the on a diagonal here. It's hot. I should have let them rest a little bit longer. Ooh. Let's try that. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm going to just put the pretty ones in front for you, okay? Like that. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, this one got to come out right. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. So you got your egg rolls. Pork and collard green egg rolls. I think I'm going to do one more little piece. Make it four. Make it an awesome foursome. There we go. 
like that okay are you with me are you paying attention I hope so okay one read oh this is so sticky two read three read four read Five read. Okay. Ooh, we don't worry, don't worry. It's it's coming together. It ain't my best plate, but it's it'll work. It will do the trick for tonight. Cause honey, when she poured a glass of cabernet. Barbecued ribs and pork and collard green egg rolls. Amen, somebody. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's time to taste this masterpiece. Now, if you um not not the recipe, <laughs> amen. <laughs> Yes, it's supper. <gasps> mm. I can't wait to get into these egg rolls, honey. I'm really excited about that. That was so uncouth. She just took the cork off the wine without using the corkscrew, using her teeth. What kind of blasted mess is this? Oh, y'all put up with me tonight. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not even going to take a picture because it's, I don't, I don't know. It, it looks a little weird to me. My sauce said, thank you, Michelle and Kevin. Thank you. But we're going to get into it. All right. I'm going to use my towel. I ain't even going to use no paper towel. I'm going to just use a, a, a dish towel. And Dara, I mean, I mean, thank God for what he is. How about that? Thank you, Lord, for assembling all my friends and family here in this place tonight to cook and have fun with me. Thank you, Lord, for these gifts and talents and the ability to create meals uh, to enjoy. Um, I thank you for the blessing. I ask that you... Let it nourish my body. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Yes. Here we go. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's so sticky. <gasps> Here we go. Look at that. Deep fried barbecue ribs. Mm -hmm. Fall off the bone. Look. My God. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mmm. I'm barely chewing. This is how tender it is. Look at that. Mm -hmm. 
No, I ain't got no manners. Mm -mm. My good. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 You know, I always got a word for y'all. Fellas. If you got a woman and she don't take no meat off the bone like this, dump her. Throw her back. She ain't no good. So you eat all the meat off the rib bone. This right here. Boo boo. Y'all, I done come up with another recipe for the menu, child. Yes! I'm telling you. If she ain't doing it like that, she ain't no good for you. I'm, I only want what's best for you. And if, if she leaving meat on the bone, you can do better. I'm just saying. Egg roll. Look at that. Okay. Take a look. Focus. 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 Okay. That's your pork and little scallion, little garlic, some collard greens. Yes, honey. I'm going to dip it in my barbecue sauce. Oh, <laughs> Woo, honey. What can I say? I'm a thick chick. Food makes me excited. Hey. Come on now. greens now they can have stuff that baby you stuck with don't know how to cook mm-hmm real homemade collard green my goodness this right here two new recipes for sugar pearls menu mm. Oh my, I'm going to make myself sick. <laughs> it's heaven. It is heaven on a plate. My God. Just ever so crunchy on the outside. That tender pork fall off the bone good. I mean, it's still on the bone, but, you know, like, ugh. that sauce kind of smoky and sweet and very hot. Just the way I like it. Mm. Don't worry, I'm not finished with it. I'm going back for it. I just wanted to say a few things to you before I let you go. I know. Hey, Centrell. They are so tender, honey. They, they are. I wouldn't lie to you. They tender. Ooh, we A bite of egg roll. Mm. I ain't got nothing to take a picture of. Look at 
collard green egg rolls, y'all. Mm. Mm. Hun, stick a fork in me. I am done. That's how we do. I take care of my people. y'all for hanging out with me how has it been a how lord i'm over time i've kept y'all over the hour well thanks for indulging me for hanging out here on sugar pearl studio kitchen live mm. would you come and watch me make a beautiful mess thank you for loving my beautiful mess in the kitchen. Honey, I can't wait to do it with you again. Until next time, remember, I love you. I really do. And I hope you love me back. Bye.